Okay, um, Saturday morning, weather outside is just terrible. We've got thunderstorms uh, out there all day today and um, probably tomorrow as well. So I'm not going to get to fly this weekend at all, which kind of disappoints me. Uh, last weekend, I flew my 52-inch Zagnuts wing out about a mile. Um, well, the flight was great, I believe I reached pretty much uh, the limit of my 200 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz video transmitter with the clover leaf. Uh, I think to go further with that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, need to do um, use my patch antenna maybe or possibly the helical antenna for the circular polarized system. But anyway, getting back to this weekend, I decided to go ahead and prep my Skywalker for a little bit further flight. So what I've got here in particular is uh, I've got all my electronics in there. That's my FY31AP flight stabilization system, which works great. I really, really enjoy that. I've got a 72 megahertz Corona receiver, a channel receiver. Um, let's see, up in there in the fuselage, I've got uh, UBEC and my current sensor. Um, on this particular plane for longer range, I've got an 800 milliwatt, 900 megahertz video transmitter, and I'm using a clover leaf on the back. Haven't tried it yet, uh, but I think it's going to work pretty good. We'll see. I also have uh, linear antennas for this, a uh, dipole for the airplane and a patch antenna for the ground. Uh, there's my GPS for my flight stabilization system. I've got a 40 amp speed controller up there and um, Got an air scoop right there to allow some airflow in there. This is my GPS for the OSD. And I built this custom pod and it houses my video transmitter battery. This is a new camera. This is a the Sony 600 line camera. Um, with the OSD, there's the programmer for the OSD. Uh, video on this camera is about a thousand times better than the crappy little $17 camera that I've been using. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite excited to fly with this particular camera. Uh, when I was flying my wing last weekend, I noticed that uh, while I had a good view forwards, I really, really, really needed to look down quite a bit to see exactly where I was and what was underneath me. So on this particular system, I built a little, um, the ability to look down while I'm flying just with a switch on my transmitter. So I think that'll work out pretty good. And this pod is next to impossible to get off just with the Velcro on it. Let's see. That's not coming off in flight. So anyway, underneath, underneath I've got my OSD mounted and uh, nice and tucked out of the way. On the other side of the pod, I got my reset button just hot glued on there. With the Velcro, I guarantee you that I'm not gonna lose that pod in flight. It's just not gonna happen. I can't hardly get it off. Uh, while it's on the ground. But anyway, that's I think that's going to work out pretty well. Um, my GPS unit, when I'm, I just move it from up here to down here when I need to remove the pod. And I tried to put the, the GPS mounted right here and right here, and it's just not uh, getting a decent uh, link to the satellites right there. Works a lot better up here, so I'm going to leave it up there for now. What else? The other thing that I'm concerned about is I've got my 72 megahertz antenna running back to the back of the plane right by my clover leaf. And I don't know if that's going to cause some interference. Um, 
other guys who are running them down the wing. So I think what I'll go ahead and do is take this antenna right here and run it out the top and out my wing. Uh, that'll keep it away from the video transmitter there and um, keep it a little bit perpendicular to my line of flight. So uh, anyway, disappointed I'm not going to be able to go out and fly this weekend, but uh, hopefully next weekend I'll have this up. And my intention is two miles, which is what? Uh, 3.2, 3.3 kilometers. So two miles next flight and then uh, three miles. And I think that may be the limit that I'm willing to go with my um, 72 megahertz, three miles. If I can get three miles out of that, I will be thrilled. And um, then it's on to maybe a long range system. I'm expecting that 900 megahertz transmitter to um, suit my needs for as long as I think I need to fly. So anyway, thanks for watching and um, hopefully I'll have an attempt to show you next weekend.